Hi. Uh, this next question is about Facebook, <laughs> and uh, I guess I guess I'm on. I guess these things appear on Facebook, but like I've said before, I I can't actually go on Facebook. They um, they declared my account dead. Yeah, <laughs> they wanted a driver's license, and I was like, no, I don't, no, I don't want to do that. So whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Um, thankfully, um, uh, Nicola is still able to post these. So anyway, this question is from Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Good morning. Um, let's see. Maybe my pea brain, but this is probably not. I just can't wrap my mind around this guy's logic and how he's coming to his conclusions. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. I don't know. You've, you've got somebody like this in your Facebook feed, too, I would imagine. Uh, everybody does, I think. Yeah. I, as a guy who is fundamentally unacquainted with the physics of Facebook. <laughs> so I sent this post and graph, and I'm trying to understand. It may not be worth Dr. Ben's time. Well, oh, yeah. Don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. It's plenty worth my time. Um, okay, and so there's post, there's link, and I'm looking at the link, and yeah, all right, yeah. So what's this based on? It's based on Johns Hopkins data. Um, that is good data. And what it is showing right now is that. Um, so the, the contention is that at first when we started testing, about one out of five tests was positive. <laughs> Which is horrendous, horrendous, uh, yeah, blah. Um, and uh, since we've added more testing, that number of positives has gone down to about 5% of the tests we do are positive. So that's good, but the number of tests has been rising slowly, but the number of new cases has been rising very sharply and suddenly. There we go. <laughs> It's like a swan. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And so the the surge in new cases. I think this is trying to explain the surge in new cases. Uh, and it's actually uh, dated maybe before. I don't know. It's about uh, five days ago. So maybe before uh, some of the new cases were even counted in there. I don't know. Um, uh, but it's trying to explain those as uh, due to testing rather than a surge in cases. And that's yeah. It's a surge. <laughs> it's Memorial Day, people. <laughs> and it's coming right on time. Yeah. Um, so what we've got is, let's see, last week we were dealing with the wave one of Memorial Day. So all the people that went out there and got infected. And finally, about two weeks later, they some of them feel sick enough that they'll go for a test. It's still mostly people that think they are exposed or uh, feel sick that are going for a test. For the most part, it is not being driven by contact tracing, which is the way you want it to be driven. You want to be proactively going out and asking people to please take a test um, based on their uh, uh, potential exposure, yeah, in particular. Or you want to be testing everybody all the time, but, you know, those Q-tips up the nose are apparently real uncomfortable. So <laughs> I get why people may not want to do that every single week. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so the post is using words like media hype and rhetoric. And if there's children listening, just, just close their ears for a sec. I feel like it's one of those situations where if you find yourself saying these words more than maybe two, three times a day, you're, you're probably an a-hole. <laughs> yeah, that's, all right. You, you can un, un, unblock their ears now. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's just... Uh, it's taking real data, taking a kind of a skewed look at a little slice of the data without looking at the bigger picture and then telling people that want to keep other people safe that they're wrong. And I don't know, I don't feel like that's ever really wrong <laughs> to try and like make the country not crumble to dust and uh, keep people from dying. I feel like that's in normal times. And with the politics stripped away, that's something that I think most everybody would have got behind, uh, at least before all of this. But wow, yeah. I don't know. Uh, strange times. <laughs> Very strange times. Anyway, um, that, that's what's going on with this post. Yeah, I, I, I share your uh, befuddlement, your puzzlement. <laughs> um, 
the graph is okay. It's part of the story. There's more of the story, and that story is fairly bad. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we've got the first wave. We're starting to see the second wave of people who were infected by the people who went to the Memorial Day parties. Uh, those are going to be coming through a little bit now, but probably more so in a week from now. Um, uh, like, um, I, I, I feel like there were a lot more people celebrating Memorial Day than are at the protest now. I know everybody's worried about a big protest wave. I don't know that that's going to happen, and I do think that's going to be limited to people who know they were at the know, know where they were and what they were doing. And um, yeah, if those people can get tested, that's great. Yeah, that's we can potentially catch those cases if there are any. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to be the big driver. I, I think it's still going to be um, all of the getting together and having a good time sort of stuff. Yeah. So there we go. Thanks very much. This has been Ask Doctor Ben. Yeah. <laughs>